Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Healing to Go to Row. My name is Shay. I will be your host to the entertainment today. <laughs> anyway, if you're new, welcome. If you're a returner, your uh, support is greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. I am giving away 10 free readings. I'll be choosing the winners at the end of the month. All you have to do to enter the reading is like your favorite video where they resonated whether it was because of the thumbnail or you just you know want to enter to to win the free reading comment under that video and subscribe to my channel once you do that i'm gonna need you to screenshot the subscription <clears throat> and send it to the email that will be in the description box below uh be, i i'm asking that you guys do that simply because youtube doesn't always show who subscribes like i could have three new subscribers but only one will pop up in my notification box ask me why i don't know but in order for you if you do want to enter a chance to win i'm gonna need you to screenshot it and send it to my email so that way i have it keep in mind tarot is entertainment so if the reading does not resonate um you can check out other videos that i have posted or you can go check out um some other videos that maybe somebody else posted I'm not greedy you know what i'm saying the love and the um platform is for everyone so feel free to do that and i'm gonna get right into your reading so in the past energy i have the four pentacles this is capricorn energy i feel like whoever this is i'm talking to had was very stubborn in the past um very stubborn feeling the need of security like i'm hearing like some instability like feeling the need to control a situation like i'm hearing like dope boy like maybe you're with somebody who is um a dope boy or you're the dope boy and this person is very controlling or you guys work together in this operation and there's a sense of just trying to control the situation so that way the money can keep flowing in like holding on very tight to this money you don't have to be a dope boy this could be anything you know that's just what came to my intuition I'm feeling like some of you guys had a need to feel recognized. I'm hearing me, 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 me. Like, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. But in the past, it was like an energy of, it's all about me, very stubborn, kind of, I don't want to hear nothing nobody else got to say type shit. Feeling very... I want to say empowered, but I'm getting the energy of, like, you feeling like you need to control shit so that way you can feel powerful. Now, in the present energy, I have the star card. And I feel like this energy has shifted from this nasty energy into something good because you came into some sort of realization. The star card is Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like with this star card, I don't know if you have a dead grandma or grandpa. I'm really feeling a feminine energy, but somebody's really watching over you and looking after you. You may get messages from them, hints. You may have dreams. They come to you in, your, in a dream state. Um, I'm hearing vulnerable. Right now, you could be feeling very vulnerable. What do I have at the bottom of the deck? The hangman. So maybe your perspective shifted from this energy or you moved away from whoever's, whoever this is in this energy to find your star power, that power within you, so that way you can have wish fulfillment. I'm hearing like, quiet after a storm so it's like your money probably was funny 
and it can't, it can't I mean I gotta be right because I do have five pentacles out here and the five of pentacles represents being left out in the cold or not having enough um it could also represent ill health I don't know why I'm feeling like maybe you left this person because you found out that they gave you a um, STD. I'm hearing deadly. So it could have been something that you um, can't get rid of. And if this does resonate with somebody, I'm so sorry. Be careful who you sleep with. For some of you, or whoever this is, I'm hearing like guidance, like you were guided to get out of this situation. And maybe whoever was giving you those inklings and trying to guide you, been telling you about this person or been warning you about whatever situation you've been in. Cause like I said, in the beginning of the reading, I was getting dope or like somebody sell drugs, but you had a sudden awakening and you changed your perspective. You kind of let go of the need to control and kind of doing f frivolous things to make money. I feel like I'm speaking to someone who's came into themselves and realized they star power. Like, whoever this is may have blonde hair, light skin, fair skin, or, um, for you girls out there that like to wear blonde wigs, those uh, count too. But I'm hearing like, um, you could have a child with this person or children. And in the future energy, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is someone who moves forward, but it's a very slow movement. So it's like, Something that you realize within coming with, within finding your power, right? You've decided to move forward with that. This could be something like maybe a new job that you feel um, that you may be a manager at. You may have moved up a position. And you've probably been waiting a while for this. I'm hearing balance. So whatever this is that came in new for you, even though the movement is slow, it, it's going to um, create some sort of balance within your emotions and also within your um, financial security. And I feel like whatever this is that you're um, stepping into is going to be a job that requires you to be of, of service so you may be a nurse a doctor you may even be a, he a healer i'm hearing starseed someone who brings um healing energy in the room i don't know why but it's almost like i'm, I'm seeing a vision of you going into a room and all eyes just on you. Like everybody was busy before you got in the room, but as soon as you walked in there, it's like your aura and your energy is so powerful. It attracts a lot of people, even broken people. And the reason you, you may be wondering why you attract so many broken people, if you do, but it's because you have a healing energy. It's like their soul is calling out for your help. You are willing to do the work because the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's willing to do the work, who who put in that extra effort to make sure shit gets done. Let's get an advice card for you guys. From my queen... Oracle deck. I'm hearing usual intuition. 
So whatever this is that you're moving forward with, it may require you to have to use your intuition and be discerning. What you got for the advice for the collective spirit? Pleasure. It's the card of 18. I get liberation off of this card. The butterflies remind me of um, being free. And it's the card 18. 8 plus 1 is 9. So coming to some sort of um, the end of a cycle. And then I got darkness at the bottom of the deck. And then I have a dark moon and a light moon. That may be significant. Purple stands for intuition. This per I don't know. She just looks like she's being freed. And she's very happy. Flowy. But I'm going to read from the guidebook to let you guys know what both of these cards mean. Where is my guidebook? So I have the card 18. Ironically, I open it right, <laughs> right on the page. So this is the card of pleasure. Are you taking life too intensively or too seriously? The time has come to call in the pleasures of life. Seek light heartedness at this time. Focus on what would make you happy. Schedule in activities you find pleasurable. I open myself to the pleasures of life. In our search for a better life, something happened along the way. We forgot how to find real pleasure in what we do rather than just being diverted from the everyday. Life can be overwhelming and our rational minds seem to need every available minute of our time to be able to cope with its demands. Pleasure has taken the back seat or there is a pattern of it now forming destructive tendencies such as binge drinking, rather than simply having a wine or two friends a wine or two with friends a big part of pleasure is letting go this does not mean surrendering or giving up it simply means handing over all of our administration stress and worries for a time and immersing ourselves in something joyful when we don't allow ourselves to experience pleasure whether it be form of laughter, play, sensuality, or the development of skills, we remain less than whole and feel a wanting. No fun actually come, uh, sorry, no fun actually makes us dull indeed. Over time, we are much less effective in our emotional and work lives and we do not experience regular doses of pleasure. Our ancient ancestors knew the importance of pleasure and forming of the healthy mind, body, and spirit. Minds me of the tri trifecta. There were gods and goddesses dedicated to happiness and pleasures in life, such as Egyptian goddess Hathor. The temples of Hathor were joyful places full of songs and beauty. There were even small temples placed in her honor outside other major deities' temples so that people could be in a happy and content contented mental mood before entering to worship. The Egyptians clearly believed that having a positive or relaxed state of mind assisted in having a positive spiritual connection. How powerful was that message? And it correlates exactly with what I was saying. Like liberation. Um like you were you were taking life like very stubborn, very, feeling very controlling and possessive. Or this could have been somebody in your energy or somebody currently in your energy. But that energy shift and it changed. And the pleasure card is reminding me just that. And then I have the card of 40. So the number 40 card says... Let me find it. Darkness. Long night moon. You are entering a time of introversion. 
a leaner time or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. It is time to do shadow work, which will help bring big dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. Wow. That was a really powerful message. Um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this reading. And I'll see you later. Bye. I love you guys. Thank you for your support again.